Hello, welcome to Youth in an Experience Gaming. I'm Youth, and I'm slightly disturbed. Right, so the game we're playing this week is Dynasty Warriors 8, the complete edition. Ah, I was going to ask what fresh hell you got for me this week. <laughs> but um, Dynasty Warriors 7 is getting a re-release for computers, and I did consider us playing that, but it hasn't got the best two-player, really. And people oh. seem to enjoy it more when we play a game together, rather than one of us at a time. So mm. this one has a two-player story, which we can do together. Oh, aren't I joyful at that thought? <laughs> Ooh, okay. I told you before, I can be crap at anything, so... <laughs> so this is based on the story of the Romance of the Three Kingdoms, basically, which is... Chinese Shakespeare's, I mean Liu Guanzhong, but he's basically China's equivalent to Shakespeare. And it's a romantic novel about a uh, civil war in ancient China. And you can play as the different factions. We shall, we shall avoid, I would say that one, but it's not, it's going to be less interesting because it's mostly just playing as Liu Bu. Right. So people just see one character. Uh -huh. They're the bad guys in a way. No way. <laughs> None of the. I mean, it's a war. Nobody in a war has purely good intentions, do they? <coughs> well, they want to kill people. Yeah, they want to kill people and have things their way. Yeah. But basically, the philosophy is means justify the ends. Everybody leave us alone. Means justify the end. ends. Ends justify, justify the means, even. Yeah. yeah. Ends justify the means. Whatever we do, we do to unite this country. I thought I was the one that wasn't allowed any more inspiration juice. <laughs> Shush. Well, so yeah, Machiavelli, um, sort of neutral, and the good guys, such as it were, for the common people, benevolence, so on and so forth. So, what do you want to be? Evil, neutral, or bad guys? Um, we'll uh, go with sorry. the Conservative Party. E e evil. <laughs> I said bad guys. I said evil, neutral, or bad guys. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Sorry, I know we're not supposed to talk politics. Yeah, you being horrible this week. <laughs> so you want to play as them? Yeah, let's be horrible. Okay. I know we've got a beginner in our midst, but we won't. There's no narrator, which annoys me. The heroes of the age were born from chaos and looked at penis. <laughs> Near the end of the Eastern Han Dynasty, the Yellow Turban Rebellion threw the land into a period of war and turmoil. Uh, in response, numerous heroes rose up to meet the threat, such as these guys. Sao Sao was among those who answered the call to battle. Wow. Sao Sao participated in the campaign to suppress... Suppress? To, uh, <laughs> he beat up guys with yellow turbans on their head and he became known as the Hero of Chaos. Five years later, he summoned to the capital. I don't know why I have to go by the narration. I know the story like the back of my hand. <coughs> it was Dong Zhuo who had used the Chaos to seize the capital and take the Emperor into his custody. At the same time, Salsa received a letter from the Emperor himself. Mm. You must slay the traitor Dong Zhuo. Tyrannical Dong Zhuo and the helpless Emperor, two very different sets of eyes, were trained intently on Salsa. Mm. Taking his trusted le lieutenants, Shaho Jun and Shaho Yuan, with him, <coughs> Salsa set out for Luoyang. So, if you hit start. Um, oh, that's that triangle thing. Yep, yeah, that's yeah. the one there. Right, you've joined in. And now, press X. Right, so I get to pick my character first. I'll go with the man of the hour, Salsa. And now you get to pick a character. How do I do that? Use the D-pad to scroll through. So you've got Shaho Yuan, who uses a bow and a club. Right. Or Shaho Dun, who uses like a broadsword, such as it were. Um, I like the clubby guy. Okay, we'll go with him then. I'll, I'll do a select him. X. There we go. Right, so we get to pick our weapons. I'm going to stick with what I've got there. And... Yeah, go with the chapel. Don't have any skills. Right, you can set your weapons. I'm trying to think what will be a nice, simple second weapon for you to use. Probably the sword, actually. The bomb. It was a bomb. 
Right. There were bombs. Yeah, you can just throw, like, just lob clay grenades at people. That's do you want that next time, do you? Yeah. Okay. It's well, going simple than a sword, ain't it? Blowing shit up. Right, there's going to be a cutscene. Whilst that's going on, I can explain some of the controls. Okay. X to jump. Square to use normal attacks. Triangle is slightly more powerful attacks. And the circle is your ultimate attack when you get that. Okay? Okay. And you can swap weapons with the R1. Yeah, I don't remember all that. It's similar to Transformers Devastation. Hit the square in the triangle to beat yeah. stuff up. And didn't I do really well with that? I mean, you beat stuff up. <laughs> I just kept pressing square until it went away. <laughs> Yeah, he's got that armoured beard on his face. <laughs> you pathetic worm. Yeah, they don't clarify this very well, but oh South Cell tried to stab Dong Zhuo in his sleep in the story, but right. got spotted <clears throat> and then promptly pretended that that wasn't what he was going to do. Ah. I'm like, oh, no, no, that wasn't. However, in the book, he gets clean away with it. Ah. He just gives the knife to Dong Zhuo and he's like, yeah, I brought you a precious knife as a gift. I'm going now. See you later. And Dong Zhuo's like, yeah, okay, see you later. And then thinks about it for a moment. He's like, wait a second. Nobody turns up in your bedroom with a knife saying, I got you a knife. He was trying to kill me. Where's Sal Sal gone? He's left the capital. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Chase after him. But obviously that's not very interesting from a gameplay perspective. No. So they're making it a little bit more nail biting. Also, fun fact here, Lubu's there, the big guy with the pheasant tails on his head. Pheasant he, tails, yeah. He's like the ultimate... so much pheasant! <laughs> In this game, he's like the ultimate badass, and he's chasing after Sao Sao, which we'll have to run away from. In the book, and in reality, those two hadn't met, so when Sao Sao saw Lubu on his way out, Lubu didn't recognise him at all and just let him go past. He was like, oh, see you later! Whoever you are. Yeah. And then Dom Dre's like, Have you seen Sao Sao? Who? The uh, guy about this tall, pointy, mu pointy moustache and beard. Oh yeah, um, he took a horse and he left. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, to be fair, pointy tashes and beards were kind of derogatory then, so yeah. that's about everybody. Right, left stick to move. Left, 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 that one? Yes. Right. As with most of the games you've played now. Who, who do I kill? The guys with red bars over their head. Okay. Right. Move forwards a bit. I'm going forwards. There. I perhaps should have made you play the tutorial before we started, but I didn't think of that until afterwards. Oi! Cut that in as well. What the heck? <laughs> I did something, but I've got no idea what it was I did. <laughs> Get daddy and me, come on. Get out of it. Behind him. What, what, what? Ah, I've that. I've got a thing. Lubu was coming right at you, run away from him. You oh. are nowhere near a match for Lubu. I can't get anywhere. Get, get. Oh, you've been locked out. Why have you been. You didn't follow me through the door, did you? There's a door. Yeah. Okay. Well, you just stood in one corner attacking whatever was within your immediate line of view. Don't fight him, just run. Just run I away. I was trying to run away, but he was in the way of where I was running. Just move. Don't attack. Just go. Just run. I've got. Ow. Can you pack that in? I'm going to be a bit dead. You're going to be. Oh, you're dead. You are dead. Oh, no. Oh, you survived that. Did I? Yeah. 
Run, just run. Just don't fight. Just run. Just run. I'm trying to run. No, for God's sake. Defeat. <laughs> Told you I could be crap at anything. <laughs> We didn't even start. <laughs> we didn't even start and you failed. We just... <laughs> that lasted minutes. Yeah. Many of them. At least three. Right. I'll tell you what. We're gonna... We're gonna call it there. Because we've come to that ten minute mark. Before we start the next recording, I'm going to get you to play the tutorial on your own time. Okay. Because, just to give you some hope. Because that was, that was bad. I thought I did well. No. I'm going to guess you stood in one corner, slapping whatever wandered into your immediate line of view. Ran out of things to slap. And then Lubu was there. You didn't um, advance anywhere, did you? You ran into a corner and started hitting whatever you could see. Well, it was either run into a corner and hit things or run into the opposite corner and hide. Yeah, that, that's how you play these games, I've noticed. You just sort of wander into one spot of a level and like, what? what's immediately in front of me? Run away. Perfect. <laughs> I, just, I think I got it. No, I didn't. Okay, just run over here a bit. <laughs> Is that not a good thing? Gaming's an interesting set of skills. It's like map reading and fighting and running away all in one. Mm. You have to keep an eye on so many things on the screen. Yep. <laughs> so that's one of the things you have to do, is that you actually have to watch what's going on. Yeah, generally, most interactive mediums are easier when you pay attention to what you're interacting with. What if you can't be asked? Well then we've seen what happens, Lubu gets you within the three minute mark of starting a level. Ah, yeah, that if, could be cool. If that was even three minutes, I don't know how long we were there for. I think most of this... Two and a half years. I think most of this episode was the cutscene, yeah. which we'll skip <coughs> at the start of the next one. We'll just, we'll just skip ahead. When you guys come back, we'll just be at the start of the level again. Okay. Okay. Right. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, like, comment, subscribe share videos on Facebook and wherever else. Just tell people about us, get the word out. And um, we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, see you next time. All right.